family. Hope you're doing well and hope that you had a great spring break. Hey, we are going to talk about some feelings today and how to deal with life when things don't go our way. You know, I know it's probably happened to me and I know it's probably happened to you and um, and we're going to talk to Rachel here in just a little bit about that. So when things don't go our way, think about how you feel when that happens. Do you get mad? Do you get frustrated? Do you cry? It's okay. Sometimes people feel like they are in the yellow zone. Sometimes they feel like they're in the red zone. But sometimes people feel like they're in the blue zone too. And so we're going to talk to Rachel, my daughter here today, and she's going to tell us about a time that she felt pretty disappointed when something happened. Um, well, when something didn't happen. And so Rachel, what do you want to tell us about today? I want to talk about how I wanted to be a counselor for uh, students my age at college, Eau Claire, um, that are living in the dorm. So it's, it's basically an apartment, an apartment for all the students at school. And I wanted to be a counselor to help them uh, cope. Like my mom, Mrs. Homley does here because she's pretty awesome and I wanna be just like her. I, I applied for this job um, and I went through a long process. I wrote a bunch of essays um, and I interviewed for it and I was really excited and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna get it. But then a couple days later, I found out, hey, uh, we don't think you're a good fit for this for this year. So maybe another time, but good luck. Um, and I was really, really sad. I was, I was in the blue zone. Um, and the way that I coped with it is I surrounded myself with friends and I kept myself busy and I made crafts for my other friends and filled their buckets because filling other people's buckets fills my bucket. So I stayed busy. I surrounded myself with my friends and I tried filling other people's buckets because this was like a big award that I had been working for for a couple of years. It was like a competition, like a basketball game that I just lost and I thought I was gonna do really well. So I was pretty sad, but I coped with some healthy ways that I think could help you. Yeah. Now, just because you didn't get this job, Rachel, doesn't mean you're a bad person. No. No, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're not great. It just didn't happen. It's for Rachel's first year of college and not a lot of kids in their first year of college get this job, which is totally okay. But, you know, I'm trying to think about what it might be like as a kindergartner or a first grader. Maybe you were expecting, you know, to see people or have people come to your house and it couldn't happen, that kind of thing. And so um, some good ways to deal with it, those coping skills again, like, um, I bet you kind of thought of this, Rachel, like, is it a big deal or is it a little deal? Like a big deal would be, oh my gosh, this is an emergency. I need to go to the hospital. Was this a big deal for you? No. Nope, not a big deal. Kind of a little deal. And so students, you can kind of put things in perspective, which is, is it a, is it a big deal or is it a little deal? You can also do some of those breathing techniques. Rachel, you might remember when you were little that we would smell the flower and blow out the candle. Yep, we could do four square breathing. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out. Hold, two, three, four. Do you remember the figure eight breathing? <laughs> Show them how you do the figure eight breathing. So the top half is gonna be breathing in, and the bottom half is breathing out. Yep. Yeah. Good coping skills. You know, after you didn't get the job, did you, did you and I talk too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. We talked about it and, and it's okay to feel disappointed, but then you kind of moved on, didn't you? Yeah. I cried a little bit, but I moved on. Yep. I still have other chances to do it and I've made lots of friends in the process of doing it, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes when things don't go our way, it's okay. And um, the link I'm gonna share with you next have to, actually, oh, before you do that, I wanted to show you something. Guess what? 
Mr. Homley made me a present. And it's this beautiful kitchen that um, we will use when we go out and we sort of act like people in the olden days. And so um, we will usually use it outside when we're in like an old canvas tent, um, when we're acting like people from history. But anyway, um, Mr. Homley spent hours and hours making this beautiful rendezvous kitchen for me. Um, but do you think everything went the way that he wanted? Nope. He just had to solve some problems to um, make sure that the doors could close because the hinges were not quite right and things like that. So kids and adults, we sometimes have to deal with things when they don't go our way. Mm -hmm. And if you're having situations like that, you can always ask someone to help. So I hope you're doing well, everybody. Look for the link below. Oh, friends, I almost forgot. Um, if you would like to um, send me a video or tell me in, um, you know, on Seesaw, how you, like a time that you were disappointed by something and then um, what you did to deal with that in a healthy way. You know, what were some coping skills that you used to deal with that disappointment? I would love to hear it.